Hey everyone, I hope all of you had an amazing day and welcome to Kayan Al Bashar Rebooted. I don't want to spend too much time on this, but yeah, the original Kayan Al Bashar with the station and the trader's district became unplayable because it just crashed every 10 minutes, so I couldn't really do anything because I can't build anything in 10 minutes, or at least intervals of 10 minutes. And also it wasn't healthy for my PC to keep going back to that, because it took my whole PC with it whenever it crashed, because it basically shut off my graphics card it seems, and so I had to reboot my PC every time it crashed, and forcefully reboot it, which isn't a good way to handle your PC. So I think it's in the interest of us all that I keep my PC alive. So we are basically starting again from scratch. However, now we won't build something that's 150,000 pieces. Like the station. I really think that that station was a dead sentence from... Or at least for Kayan Al-Bashar. So yeah, we won't build that. However, there are two... I would say positives from being rebooted. It's that I can take the criticisms from the original Kayan Al-Bashar and implement them in this new version. So the biggest criticism that I had was that Kayan Al-Bashar, or at least the original version, was built way too much to the front of the buildable area. So I can basically change that and now start in the back, which actually also goes along with the phase that I originally planned to be the second phase of Kayan Al-Bashar, but for the rebooted version it's now the first phase, which is the Mirage Mountains, which I'm going to talk a little bit more about later, but then for the second positive on basically rebooting Kayan Al-Bashar is that not everything is gone. I actually found out that I blueprinted the Ziggurat, or at least the, yeah, the intact Ziggurat, so you will see that one back. And probably a few other buildings, because, again, I can open Kayan Al-Bashar, it just takes 30 minutes, however, I can't really build in it, because it just crashes after 10 minutes. I don't know what's happened with Kayan Al-Bashar, because someone else opened it and had no problems, and then I open it, and then it just crashes. So, we are rebooting Kayan Al-Bashar, but you will see things back from the original one. But also you will see some changes which I wanted to implement but couldn't because, well, this all just leads back to that ginormous station. I mean, it's a lovely build and it's great as an anniversary build for the channel, but damn that piece count. <laughs> that was really just a death sentence for Kayan Al-Bashar and I was just waiting for the axe to come down, I think. But anyway, so for the rebooted version, as I said... We are starting in Mirage Mountains, which basically is just a giant excuse for me to build areas for the Snow Leopard and the Doll Sheep, which is actually a habit that we are building right now, which makes this even more weird because I don't build a zoo generally. I build like a fantasy realm. Animals are literally an afterthought for me. So to start off the new zoo or the rebooted version of Kayan al-Bashar basically makes it even more weird to start off with an animal. However, I actually didn't really start off with an animal, it's just that I started this video with an animal. Because I actually, you might have already seen it in the background, but I built a frozen waterfall. Which might have been nice to actually record, but I was just testing out like how I want the new well, catalog of plants for Kayan al-Bashar, or at least for this area, so... Of course, because the Mirage Mountains is a mountain area, it's snowy, it's deadly, which I'm coming back to later, but... It's snowy, so you don't want palm trees here. So, it was interesting to, you know, have the catalog of Kayan al-Bashar, because, again, I'm going to keep the same ideas for the rebooted version, otherwise I wouldn't have named it Kayan Al-Bashar again. I'm still really doubtful if I can put this in the same playlist as Kayan Al-Bashar, because it's a different zoo in a way, but also the same, so let me know what you guys think about that, but yeah, I'm sticking with the same idea, so the same architecture style, the same plant catalog, however there are going to be a little bit of 
changes to that even because you might have realized after the ziggurat I well in the ziggurat I used that elephant crest and then I didn't use it anytime after because I uh, kind of thought later that it was a little bit too uh, colorful it made it a little bit too much of a clown show so yeah I'm not going to use that elephant grass again and there might be some other minor changes to like not using this plant anymore and then using this plant in its stead so you know those are going to be some minor changes but um, yeah Mirage Mountains are uh, a nice way to start, I would say, because we are going from the highest point of Kayan Al-Bashar to the lowest. Again, I'm still in a way very sad that I didn't record that frozen waterfall that you will sometimes see in the back. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're starting off with the doll sheep, which already says a little bit about what we are going to build for the rest of today's video, which um, is a village. Because, I mean... I don't know if doll sheep were like domesticated or you know used as a domesticated sheep. Maybe I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'm just using them as domesticated sheep in a way. And then right across the sort of bridge, we are going to have the village. And the Mirage Mountains kind of uh, honor their name because I want it to look very pretty in daytime like very like inviting very colorful a lot of flowers like a ginormous amount of flowers but then at night i want it to just look like complete wilderness like freeze to death in your sleep kind of wilderness so yeah very pretty at day and then deadly at night kind of like a mirage or at least how i think of a mirage now so, uh, kind of two-faced, I would say. It might be a better name for it, but Mirage Mountains just sounds a lot better than two-faced mountains. So, uh, yeah. For the doll sheep, uh, they're basically just uh, the entrance to the village, which doesn't really have a name. Also, the Mirage Mountains have a little bit of a different architecture style than the rest of Kayan Abishar is going to have, because, of course, it's a mountain area, so I can't really take references from let's say Istanbul or the Levant or southern Spain well I could actually take inspiration from the Levant but just not the areas that I used to take inspiration from because well for the village I took a little bit of inspiration from the mountains of Syria a little bit of the Caucasus region so the Caucasus mountains I mean with that so Azerbaijan Georgia actually not that much Georgia because Let's just say the eastern side of the Caucasus area or region or Caucasus Mountains. Probably mispronouncing that, but I've given up with pronunciations by now. And this is one that basically inspired the, most of the village, actually. The Mountains of Iran. I don't really have a name, actually, for the village yet. Because, yeah. Also, yes, I've hidden all the enrichment items, or at least the robbing pole, as I call it. The plastic or rubber looking pole that the animals use to rub against because I don't build a zoo. I built a fantasy realm and the zoo is literally an afterthought. However it looks a little bit more natural that the animals rub against a tree instead of a rubber plastic looking pole. So in a way it's a good thing and also I just didn't want to have that pole. I didn't want anything in Kayan al-Bashar remind you that it was a zoo. So, I was really surprised that I started with an animal. Like, um, I thought I would literally start with the village, but um, no. I started by not recording that wonderful waterfall. Actually, it's not that wonderful, but it just looks wonderful, so yeah. That's going to be fun if, well, when this phase is complete and then you will probably see it in all its full glory. I don't know why I rolled the R in glory, but um, yeah. I think I didn't roll it in Kayan al-Bashar and now my brain is just making up for it by rolling the R in glory. I don't know. <laughs> Today's video is weird. My brain is a little bit weirded out still because I would say it's on that after holiday breakdown, I would say. Because, I mean, I don't think it surprised you that I'm a little bit or a huge part introverted. 
So being social around the holidays kind of worn me out. So now it's just kind of delirious, kind of sleep deprived and just, you know, not really in the best state of mind. So today's video is going to be maybe even a bit normal, actually, probably. But yeah, back to the actual buildings before I get way too off track. But basically my brain just wants to hibernate until, well, actually I just want to hibernate until the world ends. I just love sleeping for some reason. I mean, there are plenty of reasons, but uh, let's just not get into that too much now. So for the village, again, I don't have a name for it. So this is where I'm going to ask you guys if you have any suggestions for the name of this village. So it's that, um, well, I would prefer names that fit in with the region that the architecture style comes from. So. Let's say from, well, Azerbaijani kind of names or just, you know, the mountains of Iran. I don't know if they have like specific names for that region, but, you know, just names that would fit in with the theme of the Mirage Mountains as being pretty a day and when it's sunny and then just complete dead zone when it's night and snowing. So... Yeah, that's also the idea with this village is that it actually empties out when winter comes. Kind of like, um, I don't know why, but it, this immediately just reminds me of Game of Thrones. Because Khan Al-Bashar just has that same kind of uh, culture with all the backstabbing and such. But when winter comes, I just imagine this village kind of emptying out, everyone going to the lower islands of the actual city of Qayyan al-Bashar. So yeah, the idea is also that this village is not in like the city area of Qayyan al-Bashar. It's not considered like a suburb or, su or something like that. It's just its complete own village. But it just empties out when winter comes because then this area becomes barely livable. And I need to implement a reason why people keep coming back here because of course if winter comes and this region becomes uninhabitable and then you would need to return after winter and then of course after winter you need to basically repair your home. There needs to be a reason why people continuously come back to whatever this village is called. I mean it's in the Mirage Mountain so it's now just a Mirage Mountain village. Yeah that's the, like the project name I would say for this village right now. So again, if you guys come up with any any fun suggestions for this name or for the name of the village, well, actually fun suggestions, I do tend to take serious suggestions a little bit better. Well, actually, lately it's been a lot of like the weird fan fiction almost of Kian Al-Bashar that I implement. Because that's just way more fun to build. But yeah, I... Uh, Let's just say I have watched a lot more of like world building videos so I know a little bit of like Alright this might be a realistic name for this village so Let's just say drop a little bit of like a realistic name to the village If you can also implement a funny backstory to it It's more likely to be picked Especially if it somehow involves a cat or something Or actually a red panda it probably gets big when you implement some kind of backstory to a red panda. Because I've kind of just grown a reputation of being obsessed with red pandas. It's just, well, can you call it obsessed if I just want to own every red panda in the world? Well, own is a pretty big word. Maybe just have like an entire area to myself where all the red pandas live. That's basically owning them in a way. Yeah, let's just move on before... I make it sound like I'm completely uh, psychotic for red pandas. But yeah, again, if you find a funny backstory to this village which basically empties out and uh, yeah, if you find a funny backstory and just a good name also fitting with the area, it might get picked or I will use it as a suggestion like Terra actually mentioned it that I sometimes ask maybe for suggestions. Maybe I interpret it wrong, but I sometimes ask for suggestions, but then I also say like, 
it might not get big because you know I'm a squirrel sometimes my brain just comes up with something I find fantastic and then I completely ignore you guys but yeah I will probably use it as a suggestion of like this sounds good maybe with like a few letters that I would change maybe I'm just literally asking you guys to basically build fanfiction for Kayan Al-Bashar. I mean, it's always amazing to read the, those stories of like Topaz, Fatima and her brother or family member, the rope maker Hakim. Like those were the, one of the funniest things to read. Sometimes the most serious things to read. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so for the rest of the village, so... Uh, yeah, here I did have to implement that, yes, it's a zoo, so I needed staff facilities, but then the best ways to hide those is just to build a village for them. And, uh, yeah, I don't know why for the architecture style like this is completely based off one village or multiple villages, but just in the mountains of Iran, I would think it was. But I don't know why the roofs are overhanging, because it just... Especially with like mountainous areas or areas that get a lot of snowfall. I just think of like a lot of steeper roofs. Like with a steep incline instead of flat roofs. Because with a steep incline the snow just falls off. With a flat roof you need to shovel it off. And I don't know why there's that overhang. Because then you just need to shovel off more snow. And the only explanation I can really think of is that if you shovel it off it just doesn't really fall right in front of your door so you then need to clean it away from your door so that's literally the only explanation that i can find or at least can imagine but if you guys find the actual explanation for the overhang on the roof do please tell me because i don't know but it looks nice and it looks especially nice if i you know have those icicles hanging from them because it's a frozen village basically <laughs> And here I wanted to also implement that feel or just that just that the village empties out at winter time because the area just becomes inhabitable because of the just freezing temperatures. So this house, it's not ruined, it's just boarded up for the winter. So I actually place a sign later on saying like gone for the winter. So the inhabitants of this house already moved down to the actual city of Khan Al-Bashar because again this isn't in let's say the city area of Khan Al-Bashar it's just in the same region I would say as Khan Al-Bashar and it's still called the Mirage Mountains Mountain Village because I have no clue what to name it like Khan Al-Bashar came easier to me for this village I'm just like uh, I have no clue so this is, I think, one of the few times where your suggestions will probably be used a lot, actually. <laughs> so anyway, so for the village again, like the overhang, and it's not a wealthy village. Like it's hanging on for some reason, which I'm going to implement later. Maybe architect or architect. So I say architecture so much that I can't say the other word right now agriculture now i can say it if i really think about it but maybe like some kind of arc so and now i can say it again but some kind of reason that the people co keep coming back probably something along the lines of mining or such so that there's like precious gemstones or just things in the mountains that they mine here so that's why they keep coming back because it's making them in a way filthy rich or at least their employers filthy rich. But yeah, I need to make a reason why the people keep coming back if this region basically becomes uninhabitable during winter times. And uh, yeah, this is also why there's actually not a lot of lighting yet in this village. Because the all of the lighting actually comes from braziers or some kind of brazier where like where basically if you're outside you basically can warm yourself against the fire like we have those torches from the arctic pack which i basically use as a flame right now and uh yeah 
Actually, for those braces, I didn't use it because I didn't think there would be like much of a flame left. Because they have been going on probably for all day. But uh, yeah, that's basically um, all the lighting that's going to be in this village. Just that it's really like, again, at daytime it looks pretty with just a buttload of flowers that I'm going to use. And then at nighttime it just is dead. It's like dead on a silver platter. Be happy with it. It's unnamed to death on a silver platter, actually. <laughs> but um, yeah, I really like actually just the vibe of the village. Again, like it looks very almost romantic at daytime, but then at nighttime it's just like I think that this place is haunted, which is actually the vibe I was going for. So uh, yeah, especially with like the first building being boarded up, like all the other buildings I haven't really boarded up. But then the one building that's like the first building you see is just boarded up. So uh, I don't know why, but every time a boarded up building comes to my mind, I just think of a haunted building. Like just some kind of decrepit looking building. I don't know why. Like this build, the building that was boarded up is actually completely pristine. I don't really want ruined buildings in this village. Because, again, there's a reason people keep coming back. So if there's a reason to keep coming back, people are in the village. Maybe even some very stubborn people will remain in the village during winter. Maybe you will have some nice ice sculptures when you come back because those people tend to stay. But because people come back continuously, then I just thought like, Alright, if there's a ruined building, or let's say a ruin, or a building where the roof collapsed because of all the snowfall. Again, another reason why I don't really know why the flat roofs with like the overhang, but I will figure that one out. Because I will probably just need to do a little bit more research into that. But, yeah, I just didn't think that they would keep ruins in place. Like, there's a little bit of like pride in their village. Yeah. So, um, yeah, this all really comes down to like, I want to have a name for the village and I don't know what to do with it. I don't know why I started singing that for some reason. Again, I just blame the after holiday delirium. Yeah, I just want to blame anything. And the holidays just are perfectly suited for that. But anyway, so for the rest of the village, it's... Again, it's not going to be a grand village. It's not going to be very like pretty and all of that. It's basically it's functional. It keeps you warm. It makes sure that you don't get ice sculptures. So that works. So there's a lot of like, well, the mud brick walls I already used a lot. But also just a lot more wood. Not any marble or anything that looks like marble. Just everything needs to be functional and that's it. There's some buildings where there's like a little bit of like, let's say I'm using those wooden beams that have like the carvings in them. I think that's the best of like refined, pretty building parts that I will use. And I actually, I used this already for the doll sheep habitat for its fences, but throughout this village you will see me use those branches to make it kind of look like the walls were like woven from branches stuck in a frame which is accurate at least for medieval villagers but also it just makes it even look rougher like it's really just a place where function triumphs looks so yeah also it's just a very inexpensive way to build a building because you basically just have your building material right on your doorstep because uh, well i just imagine that this village at night time it's just well with any kind of blizzard actually just a lot of branches fall from the trees also this is the only area where i can use those ginormous pine trees and yes they are ginormous i think they are larger than the ginormous jungle trees but uh, i originally planned to use a smaller pine tree or fir tree i'm just going to call them pine trees but yeah, here I just thought like bigger is better, like makes it even look more like a fantasy realm. However, again, buildings look realistic, so I 
think that's, for me at least, the charm of Kayan al-Bashar. Fancy area, realistic buildings. And also functional buildings. Like, I have heard or talked about this before, but I don't really build a building if I don't see it as being functional. Because, especially in, let's say, this village, you're not going to have, like, a pretty mansion because, well, anyone who has a little bit of money doesn't stay in this village. They want to go down and just whenever they need to, they pay for someone to take them up. Or at least to take them up to the mountains and so they stay in the proper city of Kern al-Bashar and have a ginormous mansion there probably. So, actually I had to look up if or how a peasant Arabian house looked like because I just got stuck with the let's say medieval western europe style for peasant houses which don't look anything like the arabian style or islamic style probably but i just imagined like all right let's get the style of buildings that i use already and just make it smaller make it look more decrepit more like ranch shackle because yeah what i'm building now is actually the wealthier area of the village all of the rest of the buildings are going to be more like, let's say, for the farmers or the miners. This is actually for like the traders and such. You know, go here because there are a lot of miners and farmers to, tr to sell things to. You know, to bring the small amounts of luxury those farmers can afford. Maybe also, well, a brothel or something because I think almost every village had like their village brothel and village tavern. Where basically all the farmers and miners just lost all their money again. But with that, I also wanted to ask you guys if you guys would be up for just an episode where I maybe do one habitat. Maybe, I don't know which one. Maybe the Japanese macaques habitat or any other smaller habitat. But I want to build the farmlands. And I don't know if you guys want to see that. But I really want to just do that. Just have one very relaxing foliage built. Not just buildings, but actually just going around the mountains, building up the mountains with trees and foliage and all of that. So if you guys are up for that, please do let me know down or please do let me know down below. But otherwise just let me know what kind of story you imagine for this village and what name you would think of by this village. Or, let's say, what kind of suggestions do you have for the village? I really actually like that it's a, it's a little bit different than what I've built so far. Variation in building also makes it that you get easily motivated because you can just do something new. And no, this was not the reason that I rebooted Kayan Al-Bashar. Again, really that reason was solely due to the crashes. Otherwise I would have kept going. Like, I know that I a little bit, sh well, crap upon, uh, with the criticisms that, like, oh, yeah, Al-Bashar was way too much to the front and such. But I would just have kept going with building if it didn't just constantly crash. I would have just figured out a way to deal with it. But, uh, yeah, I think that's most of, oh, no, we have one more building left, which is... I originally intended it to be like a farmer's uh, ramshackle house, but um, I kind of lost the plot there. Let's just say, or let's just imagine that it's the house of a well-to-do farmer who probably is trying to get his stuff together so that he can move down into the valley of the proper city of Kayan al-Bashar and not stay in this frozen village while winter is coming. Or winters going on. Yeah, this was really originally intended to be a very uh, ramshackle building. So again, starting with like the woven, or yeah, woven walls. Just you know, using the branches as wall pieces basically. And then I just lost it completely. Like I just made it bigger and bigger. And sometimes bigger is not always better, especially if you're lost the plot of what you originally intended to build which I kind of did but yeah this is li really like starting to get more into the farm area because 
again, this village is not the greatest, it's not the prettiest, it's not the largest. Well, actually, I think it's going to be the largest village in the Mirage Mountains. And throughout the mountains, we have, we'll have like those ramshackle little shacks for the, well, just random hermits. If you go by that, I would probably have a house here. Because I am not really good with social interactions and such. I just generally want to stay in my room and play Planet Zoo. I really sound depressed probably when I'm saying that, but generally just like to stay in my room and just play Planet Zoo for... I don't even know how many hours I have in Planet Zoo actually. Probably just a lot. I think this video made me sound delirious. Slightly hermit-like. Well, actually totally hermit-like and a complete Red Panda obsessed freak. Most of those things are actually true. <laughs> So, I mean, I can still go outside when I need to. So, it's not that I'm like, oh, uh, I want to get away from every kind of social interaction. It's just that I'm generally drained after I've done them. And I'm generally just like, very happy while I'm, let's say, at some kind of social event. But when I'm done, I'm just like, I need to lay down for a whole day now because I'm dead tired because of it. This is literally just a video of me whining about being social like a normal human being. But anyway, I want to close off this video just by asking two questions. What kind of suggestions do you guys have for the name of this village? And also, would you be interested in seeing how I built the farmlands, maybe one small habitat with it? Yeah, let me know. But that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you can understand that we are rebooting Kayan al-Bashar. And I just hope you like the video. If you do, however, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button because it does help out a lot. And I hope to see you back in the next video. Bye-bye.